let's use Copilot in the new version of Outlook to go ahead and create an email to a client. So I'll go to where it says Copilot and I'll choose it and it pops up a sidebar on the right hand side and I'll say create a welcome email message to a new client called the big box store. And it's going to go ahead and create that for us. I'm going to choose the new mail option so I can paste that in. There it is. So on the subject line, I can go ahead and copy this for the subject line and paste it in. And then I can go down to the wording itself and I can choose to select the areas that I want. Now I don't need this bottom portion because I've already got a signature. So I can just go ahead and copy it and paste it in using control C and control V if I'd like. Now another option that we can do is we can go ahead and choose the copy button that you see here, copy the response. We can choose an up or a down vote based on whether we think this is any good. We can also choose to read aloud if we'd like. And assuming you have Copilot on your computer, as far as an application goes, then you can click on Edit in Pages, and it'll open up the Copilot app, and there you can add in pictures and other things, and then come back and copy it in. And then the last thing is to share the prompt and copy with response as well. So I'll go into where it says the company name and replace that with the name of our business which is the Awesome Corporation. And when I'm ready to send, I can put in the name of the email and just go ahead and send it. Now let's go do this something similar where we add in an email to someone we know, someone who's not feeling well. So I'll choose Message Copilot, create an email for a friend who is not feeling well. And here is that email. And once again, we can go ahead and copy it. I'll create a new email and paste it in. And I'll say to keep the source formatting so it looks similar. And I can change the friend's name to the actual friend's name. And I can go down and put in my name. And I can make any changes needed here as well. And just for fun, we can paste in a picture. And we'll say, draw a picture of a girl with a thermometer in her mouth. One of the things that you run a risk of when you send an email to someone you know is that may not be the way you normally word an email. So the nice thing about using Copilot in this case is that it will help you get started. And you can certainly go in and add text or change text and make it sound more like what the way you would normally talk to that person. And there's the picture that I had Copilot draw. It's almost done. And it'll give me the option to go ahead and use it in my email. So I can choose to download or just choose to copy it. And then just go ahead and paste it in. And if I want to resize it because it looks a little big, I can just go to the corner and just drag it in. And there we go. That's how we can create emails and pictures to send to colleagues, clients, or friends.